After repeated failed attempts to get core technology for the Cavalry engine program from a joint venture with a foreign partner, the DRDO has proposed to the Ministry of Defense to allow it to initiate a new engine project, and has asked for new funding to develop a successor to the Cavalry engine program, to meet the power requirements of India's 5.5 generation AMCA stealth fighter jet. The proposed engine will be a clean slate design, and will not borrow core technology from the Cavalry engine program, but the Ministry of Defense has asked the DRDO to prove that it can first design and complete smaller projects, and then to develop next generation technology for the fighter jet engine. The Modi government has allocated 1,068 crore rupees to develop an engine with a maximum of 52 kN thrust in dry configuration, that will power the indigenous unmanned combat aerial vehicle program, which is scheduled for first flight in 2024. Top experts have said, that it will be an advanced version of the basic dry cavalry engine which has already been developed, but will see the incorporation of new technology. In a major development, the Defence Ministry has initiated a process to identify potential savings that can be made in 2020, and has started approaching the foreign equipment manufacturers to understand which programs are likely to be delayed, and India would delay the payments for late deliveries, without invoking the penalty clause of the agreement. The Indian government would channel the same resources to fast-track indigenous programs like the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet deal worth 39,000 crore rupees, six next-generation destroyers under Project 18 worth 12,000 crore rupees, seven squadrons of the Akash air defense systems worth 6,000 crores, six regiments of Pinaka systems worth 4,500 crores, and eight fast patrol vessels worth 800 crores. The Chinese media has reported, that China's new generation H-20 strategic aircraft is likely to be ready for delivery in 2020. It has a range of more than 8,500 kilometers, and will be equipped with a payload of 45 tons of both conventional and nuclear systems, as well as four hypersonic stealth cruise systems. The H-20 is expected to double the strike range of China, and it could make its first public appearance at the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2020. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has started the design work of a new twin-engine next-generation lightweight fighter jet, and top experts have said, that the MiG Corporation is interested in developing an alternative to the Su-57. The focus might be aimed towards fielding a successor to the MiG-29 and MiG-35 fighter jet, that can be exported to close Russian allies, and the next-generation fighter design might also interest countries that are having difficulty with their own respective programs.